So this is what you can expect to receive on site when you get a multi-slide system. Again, like a folding, you've got a frame package. Yeah. And you've got your door package. Now, yeah. depending on the size of your sliding doors, you, they're either going to come flat pack, like the folding, or they're going to come on an A-frame. Yeah. So uh, the bigger ones come on A-frame because uh, we don't like the flat pack larger panels, okay? So let's go ahead and open up the frame box. Uh, as we open it, let's be careful to pull out the hardware box so, and put it in a safe place so we don't lose it. And with, to all the installers, I mean, at least, I mean, just looking at how long this is and how cumbersome it is, always have at least two, two guys. Absolutely, especially with these, you yeah. know, so the folding, you've got one track pretty much all the way around. Right. With a multi-slide, you've got multiple tracks up to eight tracks. Right. So it becomes very heavy, so absolutely a two-man job, sometimes even three. Cut. So again, the first thing you want to do is locate your hardware box. This yep. has got all your goodies in here. It's got all your installation screws, installation manual, homeowner's manual. Um, Hand handle, hardware, any of that. It's got all your hardware that you need. Yep. So uh, a lot of the times it gets mixed up in the packaging. Make sure you put it aside in a safe place. And another good note is open it up, see you got everything. Yeah, so you want to, as you open up your product, you absolutely want to check that you're receiving the right order, the right measurements, the right species of wood, if it's got wood on it, the right color, um, the right configuration, uh, and there's no damage to your product as well. Right. Okay. So let's put this over here. What we're going to do is pull out the frame components. You should have two jams, a head track, and a sill assembly. Right. Okay. Just like, just like this one. Just like this one. Okay. It's going to be a different profile because they slide versus fold. But uh, in this particular order, we've also got a screen. So we're going to be installing a pleated screen. Okay. So that's what this box is. We're going to get this and we're going to put it aside again in a safe place. So screen does not go, you don't install that while you're installing the frame. On this multi-slide, yeah. the screen frame is already attached to the door frame, huh. okay? So as we assemble it, we'll be assembling the screen frame as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will have to put the sill in separately, the screen sill. Uh, and then after that, it's a cartridge that we click in. We're gonna configure them on the saw horses and we're gonna pre-drill all the installation holes. Great. Okay. So one thing, Lee, that yeah. I like that's smart is that you always insisted on me doing was Build on saw horses. Yes. Number one, it's a great, it's just a great level it's to work good, on. It's a good height. But we can get level, yep. which is crucial with these frames. Exactly. Especially when you stand, after you've pre-drilled them, and you stand them up and seal them, and join that corner, you want them to be nice and flush. And like you've always said, you start with the frame. If you've got the frame perfect, the rest of your job is so much easier. Absolutely. They do come with cover plates, so at the end, after it's all installed, there will be exposed channels that the cover plates get snapped into. So we're going to put those aside as well. Yeah, this is actually the screen sill. Got it. Okay. So that goes in after as well. So we're going to, we're going to lay it out with the sill, the head and the two jams. Okay. Copy. So uh, let's move this head track over onto the saw horses over here. Yep. Let's open the jams. Okay, there is some cover plates in the jams as well, so we'll place those over. But as you can see, you not to be confused, they're all numbered. So yeah, the cover so plate goes with the, the two here goes with the two on the frame. That's exactly right. Which so we're going to put this jam over here. It's the left jam. Okay. okay. Again, on the corners, just like the folding, we've got each corner marked with A, B, C, or D. Uh huh. We marry them up, makes it really simple. Yeah. Okay. The nosing for the sill. Okay. That actually goes on after installation. Right. So we're going to put the nose over. You'll know it's the nose. It's got all the weep holes drilled in it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's also a couple of little cover plates in the sill channel that we're going to put over here as well. Okay. Okay. So you'll know where these go later because the weather seal stops mm -hmm. and the cover plate just clicks in there. But right. One cool thing about our multi-slide system, we have these installation tabs on the exterior and interior of the sill. Uh -huh. So therefore you don't have to drill through the sill to install it 
creating weak points in the sill extrusion. Got it. Okay? Because once water goes into the extrusion, it's designed to capture the water and run it to the exterior. Right. You want to know that there's no weak points within that extrusion. Right. So any, any penetrations in this frame are going to be exterior from, from the system? Well, exposed. So you can put the cork in them yeah. and then surface cork the screw after it. And okay? properly cover it if you need to. And properly cover it, yes. Okay.